A new global study is laying waste to the supposed purity of most bottled waters. Researchers affiliated with the journalism organization Orb Media tested nearly a dozen brands of water purchased in countries around the world, and they found some disquieting things. David Common's been looking at that research. David here in studio with me. This is the largest investigation of its kind, as I mentioned, in a number of different countries. Mm -hmm. Tell us what it found. So what they did is they went to a number of countries, Asia, North America, South America, Europe, and, and they pulled bottled water that was available on the shelves and sent it to a lab in New York, had it tested, and they were looking for microplastics. Those are extremely tiny pieces, pieces of plastic, the, the thickness of a human hair. And in many cases, they found them. In fact, in 93% of the bottles that were tested, brands that you know, Aquafina, Dasani, Nestle, you know, the list goes so on and on. international brands Evian, and not Santos, any brand you know, in particular. Wow. Not, yeah, all, all sorts of brands. In 93% of the bottles they tested, they found these microplastics. Now, in some cases, they were very, very tiny amounts. In some cases, they were thousands of particles in a liter of water. The average bottle would be about half a liter. So it gives you an idea there can be a significant number of them actually out there. Wasn't found in every bottle, but it was certainly found in most, the overwhelming majority of the bottles that were tested. We know a few things about microplastics. We know that uh, they exist all over the place. We know they're in tap water. The, the, we know that because Orb Media, this same group, actually did a test of tap water in many countries around the world. What they found is that there's actually less in the tap water they tested than in the bottle water they mm. tested which really is interesting to us because of the whole purity talk that goes on around bottled water. Did they determine how the microplastics get into the water they in the bottle? Could, they didn't look at that specifically, but they do have a few theories, partly because of the microplastics that they could identify, it is in many cases the same type of plastic as it is from the cap ah. of the water bottle. So perhaps, we don't know this definitively, perhaps when that cracking open happens, these tiny little particles fall away. Now, is there any danger in that? that that's, you know, of course, the next big question. And the answer is we don't know definitively. We know that these plastics are so small that they could probably pass through your gastrointestinal tract that essentially they could get into your bloodstream, which means they can stay in your body. And we also know that plastics in general can absorb chemicals that could be harmful to our body. We didn't look particularly at what these plastics contain. They really are tiny, and that work has not been done. But it does certainly suggest that more work does need to be done. And this is a whole new emerging area of science for the very reasons that you highlight. It's interesting, the companies, when asked for statements, uh, they pointed to the fact this is, this is a new area, mm -hmm. there are no uniform standards, there are no regulations for these things, are there? Uh, absolutely, and there is, as the companies well point out, there, there is nothing that says you have to have below a certain amount or you can't have any. There's nothing in the world that says something like that. But we also have questions from scientists about what it might do, and so the companies come back to us and say, we're interested in this as well, but it's an emerging science. Some of the companies, some of the brands actually came back and said, yeah, we've found microplastics too, though in much lower levels than this orb study is finding. This particular study, important to note, didn't look at bottled water in Canada. Even though I'm using the names of brands that right. exist in Canada, the bottles tested didn't come from Canada. And because it didn't, we're going to test it at Marketplace. We're going to try to see if we find similar results in Canadian bottled water. April 6th, the air date for that investigation. So stay tuned. But David, thank you very much. It's definitely pause for thought for those who uh, drink bottled water.